Well, either it isn't him, or he's ignoring us. Come on. Seek a fire giant. Go away. What just happened? Hey, that was We deal with these first. Driver on the left! Another one? Focus! He is the guardian of this realm. It is his right to defend it. You're on fire! But you probably already know that. Said, we need him. help you. Who are you? Who you seek. And what's left of him. Why won't you help us? I don't want to. Elaborate. We'll die. Right. 
because you've got so much to live for. Not me. Her. So what's the point of all this? You keep separate from Sinmara just so you can sit here and wait to die? At least if you joined with her, you'd be together again. We are together. heart. She's got mine. It's not much, but it's enough. But you're not even... Have you ever been in love? It's pretty good. And Odin will succeed. And all realms save Asgard will fall. Well, he must die. It's true. But I won't sacrifice her any more than you would him. Sorry. Come. Wait. Those blades. May I see them? Hmm. Yeah, there's primordial fire in those. They are not of these lands. Shouldn't matter. What could? Put those in here. And I'll become your monster. But I don't want her involved at all. But the prophecy says you two have to combine. Sure this will work? What have I got to live for? here. Follow me. Where do we go? Spark of the world. Which is the place where Niflheim and Niflheim meet. Where the first realms came into existence. You won't be able to get through this. Uh, sir? Still me. Better than walking. What awaits us at this spark of the world? Magic. Primordial stuff. With that and your blades and my heart. We'll be good. I'll get it. Big. Smash stuff. You'll like it. But what'll happen when you change? Dunno. Won't be me anymore. But how will you, or, um, future new you, know when to attack Asgard? You got the horn. Right? Yeah. Then we're good. So are we you? Beginning of everything? Yeah. What was it like? <sighs> Loud. So, here it is. The spark of the world. Oh, this is beautiful. I'll meet you across. This feels too easy. Odin knows we have Gjallorn. He knows you have the mask. 
after killing Brock, he knows we would seek Surtur to start this war. But what other choice do we have? None. He knows that too. Aren't you the ones in a hurry? Is it. What about Sinmara? Should we at least tell her? No. It had hurt her too much. More than not knowing what happened to you? Sometimes loving someone is about choosing the lesser pain. That doesn't make any sense. I promise you'll stay away from her. You have our word. Sorter, is stabbing you with the blades gonna be enough to create this new you? Sinmar's heart is cold. So beautifully cold. Your dad's now got my fire in those blades. If enough of me and the sparks fire go into enough of her, it should work. Okay. Come here. Oh, 
Gallerhorn when we're ready. Let's head back to Moose Farm. We can take the Mr. Gateway back from there. It worked. I can't believe it. We got Ragnarok on our side. Sorter's plan just worked. Valkyries were a small setback, but I bet we've got Odin worried now. He knows we're coming for him. <laughs> Think about it. We're gonna show up to Asgard, and Ragnarok's gonna come in and wreck everything. Odin won't stand a chance. We're gonna win! Groa was right. Groa failed to predict what we would sacrifice in return. Maybe she could only see the big stuff. This is gonna work, right? It must. Ragnarok's strength grows. Hey, check out that cliff. The earthquake must have shook this place up enough to make a ledge. More of Odin's forces. Got some Bifrost on you. Be careful. Oh! 
fought in a lot of wars, right? You've never had anything like Ragnarok on your side? I have. And the creature does not guarantee our victory. Right. Earthquake. This whole place is gonna fall apart if those keep happening. Quiet, but this feels different. I had hoped my days of ceaseless battles were over. I had hoped to never see my son go to war. Ragnarok is here. They know what that means for Asgard! Ragnarok has to happen. The price we and others paid for this war is high. It will only get higher. It'll be worth it. <clears throat> How did it go? And yes, my usefulness to a certain Vanny of Nupti did run out. Ragnarok awaits our call. As do the armies of hell. Thanks mostly to me. It seems war is upon us at last. We have to now, brother. We've some time before we're expected at the temple. 
This could be our last chance, Father. Is there anything you want to finish up? See what I think they say. Yes. Get away from my children. Have you enough? Come in behind your brother! 
Someone bring their souls back, maybe? There was a way to do that? I'm afraid not. Their souls would have to be intact in their original forms, not perverted. Oh. But we still did something good, right? Yes. Yes, we did. Dragon is still here. It looks like it landed only yesterday. Hi, Cole preserved it. You've come quite a way since then, lad. Thanks. Ready when you are. All the armies are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Wow. The Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well... What would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hel's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him, but there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun, it's good to see you so alive. Oh, yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen. The Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, Amir, please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors. I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just... sleep on it? Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Join us. Have a seat. Excuse me. 
May I have a moment with Mimir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more, except perhaps a dance. Though I may have lost a step. <laughs> Do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I could never argue with you. Can I sleep here tonight? I fall asleep. Promise you'll finish it tomorrow. Of course. Now, close your eyes. There was an old man who chopped wood for his village. Every evening he bore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy and he grew weaker as time went. And one day he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight.
Ray's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Thank <laughs> you.